ಭವಾನಿ ದಾಹಿನಿ ರೇ ಸದಾ ಭವಾನಿ ದಾಹಿನಿ ರೇ ಸೀಧನ್ ಕರೆ ಗಣೇಶ ಹರಿ ಪಂಚೋಜಾ ರಕ್ಷಾ ಕರ ದಾಂಗ್ ವ್ಯಾಲಿ ಇನ್ ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ನೇಪಾಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ಸ್ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಲಂಡ್ land and agriculture dictated the rhythms of life here making the valley one of the bread baskets of nepal for the last three generations chedulal choudhury and his family have been tending the land by dint of hard work and care from dawn to dusk rain or shine for 7 days a week they slug in the field ignoring scorching heat and discomfort in between only a brief midday rest marks a lull in an otherwise non-stop activity in the field so far the land has been generous to chedulal and others the harvest is bountiful and ready for cutting but chedulal is not a happy man for neither the land nor the harvest belong to him they belong to the landlord in reality even cheddu and his family are the private property of the landlord for cheddu is a kamaiya or a bonded laborer दिन भर काम करे करे ग्यारह बोरा ग्यारह क्विंटल समा चाल के जीवन मिलत तो अपने में का हुए दिन भर घा में काम करो करो संझा में जाके बस खाओ तकलीफ खा लो न खाए के सुख न सुते के नींद द लैंड लोड हैज एन ओवरवेलमिंग कंट्रोल ओवर द बॉडी सोल एंड द लेबर ऑफ कमयाज लाइक छेदुलाल बिकॉज़ फॉर द लास्ट थ्री जनरेशंस they are indebted to him the story of cheddu and rest of kamayas are identical without land and other forms of subsistence their forefathers took credit or sonki from the landlord in return the landlord made them work in the field as bonded laborers the kamayas were and are so poor that they are unable to pay back the credit and since the legal court of nepal stipulates that children automatically inherit their parents debt the kamayas remain bonded for generations their hands and feet may not be fastened up with chains nonetheless a kamaya is a modern day slave in a true sense in nepal slavery was officially abolished in 1926 ironically this practice has continued in the form of kamaya system the system is still alive and active in districts of western nepal mainly dang banke bardia kailali and kanchanpur oh. 1990 The popular movement marked the beginning of democratic system based on equality, freedom and basic human rights for every Nepalese citizen. In this new atmosphere, Kamaya system was deemed anachronistic and a disgrace to the country. This sentiment was amply reflected in Article 20 of the Constitution of Nepal. 1990 which states that traffic in human beings slavery serfdom or forced labor in any form is prohibited and any violation of this provision is punishable by law thus making the act of keeping kamayas illegal and punishable after the democratic election of 1992 the introduction of the bill abolishing the kamaya system once and for all was widely expected in the house of representatives
but constant bickering and indifference of many MPs prevented the discussions. The ratification of the bill became a distant prospect. It was a serious setback for the emancipation of Kamayas. This should come as no surprise as most of the MPs, politicians and so-called social elite have the dubious distinction of keeping Kamayas in their own backyard. Meet Narendra Mishra, a landlord turned politician. He is the District Development Committee Chairman of Kailali and represents the Congress Party. He says that he has sympathies for Kamayas and is working out programs to uplift their condition. Ironically, he needs the Kamayas to look after his vast tract of land. He boasts of paying his Kamayas rupees 60 a minimum wage for the Kamayas per day set by the government. But when his Kamayas were approached for verification, they said that they were looking forward to the prospect. It did not take us long to figure out that Misra had lied. Misra is only a small fish of a big pond. Meet Sankar Pokhrel, once a parliamentarian and now a central member of the Communist Party, United Marxist-Leninist. He has been in the forefront to fight for the rights of oppressed, marginalized and exploited groups like Kamayas. Mr. Pokhrel is based in Kathmandu and rarely have time to go back to his home in Dang, where his brother is having difficulties in managing their land and Kamayas. This is Pokhral residence and Kamayas are busy sifting their fresh harvest. Janardan Pokhral claims that he has a good relationship with his Kamayas and urges them to educate their children. <laughs> But his Kamaya told us a different story. So, <laughs> For any Nepali government, the Kamaya issue will be a hot potato as long as figures like Narendra Misra, Sankar Pokhrel continue to keep Kamayas despite the constitution declaring it illegal and punishable. Thorvaut Rupma, you come here, Rahne Kurama Samlagnason. 
चाहे नेपाली कांग्रेस हो चाहे चाहे नेपाल कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी हो जुनसुक हो तो उन्हीं सदन में बोलने पर्ने कुछ तर उ का घरम कमैया स्वाभाविक रूप में आपको घर को विरुद्ध में कुछ उ पार्लियामेंट में उठा सकते It is winter and dry. Harvest season has just finished. There is slackness in agricultural activities. But for Lal Bahadur Choudhury, work and more hard work has become a permanent fixture of his life. Lal Bahadur is sick and melancholic about his existence as a kamaya. <laughs> बच्चा बीमारी कहू बीमारी भैं बीच में खाना पानी उन्न खाना को पीर ले जाने About 98% of Kamayas come from Tharu communities. This existence was not their manifest destiny. Before 1950s, isolated from the rest of the world, they were the sole guardians, the princes of the lost forest of Tharai. With the menace of malaria gone, to which Tharus were immune to. The great rush towards the Tarai from the hills began. The Tharus lost out to hungry hill intruders, who were better organized, sufficiently motivated, and well supported by the political establishment. Often betrayed by their own chiefs, the Tharus helplessly saw their land being parcelled out among the hill people. By late 1960s the Tharus had become refugees in their own land The masters had become the slaves Without land and other recourse many Tharus had no other alternatives but to work for the landlord in the field that they once called their own Keeping as much as kamayas became a status symbol for the landlords The Tharus were effectively condemned to toil as kamayas for the rest of their life. Tinchar kusta bise ga. Te te bhandya rai chu ni. Maile bhandya rai chu ki mera euta ama, euta bua, euta dai, euta bhaujo mero bise ga. Ei jaga ma khande khande bhaje bise ga rai chu. Garib la te esto chusna la cha ni malik haru. Today the kamayas are entirely dependent on the mercy of the landlords. In return for their service, the landlords mostly pay in rice paddy, which is not enough to support a family. So in order to make their ends meet, families are forced to borrow in cash or kind from their landlords. Most often, they cannot pay back the credit. and families fall into further debt from year to year thus consolidating the roots of bondage for generations aaj ke log dhan aapu khaun ki sosni le khaun ki apna chhora le khaun ki naati le khaun 50 kg dhan ek mahine ko to pug dena mahina mein sab parwar ka sari palno sosno ek 50 kg dhan ko kati kg chawal huncha सारे सत्ताईस किलो हो कटी हो खाना खान नापुगे 
खान नपुगे लिंड जाऊ खुद जाऊ तेसला तो दिन भर छू मार खाए रे बेलुका बिहान मार खाए रे बस धान बचोट करे रे बस वहीं तीर दिन है The Bukrahis, our wives of Kamayas, have their own story to tell. We work hard. We have our jail and our house. We are working hard. 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 Most of the landlords are unsympathetic to the plight of the Kamayas. Instead of creating conditions to uplift Kamayas, the landlords hold the farus responsible for their fate so recently the world bank representatives and all they were out here you know only only bane why are they poor why are these people actually saying we are not responsible for their poverty they themselves are responsible for their poverty bhanus na tapai le aphno ghar afai banaune ki ma le aera ta yo ghar banai dine hai na pa shri pas le aera mero ghar ta banaune hoina ni why should i curse him i am responsible for making my career they are not willing to acknowledge the misdeeds committed by their forefathers in evicting the tharus from their land some landlords like binod dhochand however are beginning to adjust themselves to changing scenario he comes from landed gentry where ill treatment of kamayas was considered as normal and a custom एटा शोषण तो अब के भि इनको निमित रूप से हमें काम एवं टाइम टेबुल ने इन काम करा छन जैसे रात बिरात जो टाइम में भो हम करनी है एटा बाधा को रूप में बन है तो को संकेत देखि कि बाधा को रूप में छ होना तो बाधा तो यहाँ छेन तस्त कि तर तो शोषण को एटा नमूना हो जो दैनिक रूप से एटा ज्याला को रूप में चल रहा तो ज्याला तो इनके पाने पर्ने अकार हो तो शोषण को रूप में भैर तो शोषण बा इन मुक्ति करूर्ने आयमूलक रूप से रैनिक के पारिश्रमिक इनको हमें दिन सक्य इनको एटा सम्मान को रूप में इनको जीवन बिता हमें दूँ यही सब भाई ठूल कुछ होने जाने इसमें हम संपूर्ण समाज ने इसमें ध्यान दी दिन पाई लग Balkrishna used to be a kamaiya for Chan family for many years. Binod Dhoj freed him and granted him land to fend for himself. Today, Balkrishna is a proud owner of his land and does not have to toil hard like before. Balkrishna has proved that given the freedom and necessary means for survival, even kamaiyas can lead a meaningful life. The success story of Balkrishna is a rare phenomenon. For a majority of Kamayas, poverty and exploitation are facts of life. Generations of marginalization and exploitation have incapacitated Kamayas. They are not aware that slavery is illegal and punishable. and there are adequate laws to bring the landlord to justice at a time when the successive governments have done little to address the plight of kamayas it has taken the efforts of non-governmental organizations to galvanize the tharus into action it 
It is spring in Kailali, and Kamayas are busy clearing the field for the next round of crop. These Kamayas belong to ex-minister turned landlord, Sibaraz Panta. He was the first democratically elected minister for education and forest when the Nepali Congress party won a landslide victory in 1958. Yagira Chaudhary, a base volunteer, gives a briefing on the Kamayas of Mr. Pant. Mr. Pant, however, was not available. Only his empty house was there to greet us. But his Kamayas were there to vent their bottle of dissatisfaction and frustrations. Razdeep Choudhury has been sweating out in the field of Mr. Pant since his childhood. He has seen little improvements in his living conditions, except more debt and hardship. Pisa <laughs> This time we are lucky. Mr. Pant was democratic enough to discuss the issue and problems of his Kamayas. While talking, he has an air of confidence typical of landlords. <laughs> धान <laughs> Bully can like it. को can like it. Sayuni Purano Paisa till the air the Bayana. Aina Peri in her let's say, eh, can I like no garishayo? Kiss any jo jagachayo Jagamposo was Gordonos. General Padera in her like Chachar Vigazam in this nose. Mr. Pant concluded the discussion with an emphatic statement that it was not illegal to keep the Kamayas 
and he would not release his kamayas until they paid his debt or sonki back. He left the place with a resolve. Since then, we have not been able to contact him. Geta Village Development Office in Kailali. Almost 10 days after the discussion, coinciding with May Day, Rajdev Choudhury and his 18 fellow Kamayas files a petition demanding freedom and minimum wages of rupees 60 from Sibaraj Panta. In the past, Kamayas were set free through the efforts of various non-governmental organizations. But this was the first attempt by bonded laborers to free themselves on their own initiatives. It takes seven days for the VDC chairman to call for a meeting between the Kamayas and Sibaraz Pant, mediated by non-governmental organizations. Anxious moments. The landlord did not show up. VDC chairman explains the reasons for his absence. Rajdev Choudhury and his friends, however, eventually turned up. Even without the landlord, the deliberations kick off. After much discussion, supported by 12 non-governmental organizations, the meeting reaches a decision to file a case with Chief District Officer or CDO. The CDO refuses to register the case, prompting Rajdev Choudhury and his fellow Kamayas to launch a certain program. Dilly dallying and free dragging on the part of the CDO triggers of widespread protest for five days. In a rare case of solidarity, people from all walks of life join the Kamaya movement. After widespread demonstrations, media hype and criticisms, Prime Minister Giriza Prasad Koirala is forced to make a statement regarding the problem of Kamayas. In the parliamentary session, Prime Minister Koirala assured that Kamaya system would be banned in the near future and all the Kamayas will be liberated from their bondage and compensation will be given to the landlords. The mere act of paying Sonki and liberating the Kamayas is not going to solve the problem of bonded labor in Nepal. Without comprehensive land reform policy aimed at Kamayas, the plight of Kamayas will continue to haunt, disgrace and linger in Nepal for many years to come. One thing is clear. For the Kamayas, land and agriculture is their bread and butter. Life outside the field is unimaginable and suffocating. History is replete with evidences of Kamayas eventually coming back to their former master after finding nothing to support themselves. <laughs> Hare 
The successive land reform policies so far have either bypassed or forgotten to include original inhabitants like Chandalal Chaudhary. Oblivious of recent developments, life for Chandra continues as usual. Chandra continues to plough as his forefathers have done before him, knowing that the landlord will appear to gather the harvest next year.